That doesn't look like a house shift. No, nope, this is definitely something different. Know. Are we hallucinating? Jesse, did you take your pills today? <laughs> you know you start hallucinating when you don't take your pills. Hey everyone, welcome back to another lovely episode of Control! Which is now actually one of my top five games. Favorite games. Three, maybe. I think we're close to breaking into a three. So, as a, today we're going to be doing the DLC that has to do with Alan Wake. And you know what, I just... Hey! There was something there. Speak of the devil. For her, trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like as I was saying. This out. Uh, this is a DLC that has to do with Alan Wake, so I'm very, very excited for this. Especially since Alan Wake will be coming out soon here uh, in the next week or so. Or whenever it is that I get to upload this. I kind of have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to upload this exactly uh, this Friday that I'm recording of. But, oh god, I am so excited! <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and just continue. Um, I do want to say that I noticed that her suit has a triangle on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw that. All right, come on, open up. Oh, and I can't show you now. Wait. Okay. Okay, there we go. The lights are on. So let me turn around real quickly. Ah, uh, it won't show. Why is it grainy looking? Is it just me or is, is it grainy right here? Okay, well, I can't really show you. Oh, Hello? oh. Eh, you can kind of see it there. Anyone here? Little triangle on the back. Yes, not. I see files. Oh god, I'm gonna want to read them all, but missing agents. Mr. Kirkland, here are here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Quanner, Ezra Cruz, Caroline Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray. And Derek Shaw. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You will be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, our network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of report exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. Well, that sucks. A lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Right? Oh god, there's so many files here. Darling investigation. Oh, what does he have to say? Official findings report. Dr. Casper Darling, Internal Confidential. Summary. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, Internal Investigation D-084-5 was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Despite the accounts of anonymous regarding inhumane treatment of a currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles are, arose during this investigation. The majority of sector personnel seem to be wholly unaware of any such contained there. One confirmed the code name to be, but all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. And investigators were similarly blocked from entering the research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we recommend an investigation into research. Refer to file 9-82-0136 for full report. Ah, I wonder what has to do with uh with our brother and the and the incident. Okay, you know what I'm not gonna read that one. Doesn't look as interesting. <laughs> and at this point, we're going to be here forever. If I just keep having to read everything. Oop. Tracer. Imp supplement. Or tractor imp supplement? I don't know. Resignation letter. Ooh, who's resigning? Of 2019. To who am I concerned? It is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. 
I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my departments. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our... Who has routinely ignored my re request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the... Loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. Oh, I wonder if maybe that has to do with Darling as well. Staffing issue. Oh, uh, that was probably his report about the staff. Hmm. It's not working. Nope. Okay. So I guess lose power core somewhere. Uh, something tells me I'm gonna have to take that one and bring it up somewhere. God, there's so many files just laying around. Folder link update. <gasps> to Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again. Third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough. But why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need petition them. We need to petition them again to share their info into, with investigation agents. It's only a matter of time before this hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway. If anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. <laughs> some raccoon traps? Seriously? Well, I guess the locals keep complaining about it, so why not? Underhill background, I'm gonna skip reading that. Director investigation, that probably has to do with more about Darling. Official warning from Trench. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to read that, you can go ahead and pause. But I, I'm i going to keep going. Launch ground slam boost. That's a mouthful. Hey, look. It's a helmet. Huh. Certificate of achievement. What would you achieve? All I see is a bank. Uh, it's, it's just blank. You achieve nothing. You're worthless. <laughs> oh. Can I reach from here? Hey, look at that. <laughs> now that gate should open. Alrighty. Open sesame. Why'd I say it like that? That was kind of weird. Specimen escape assessment. The purpose of internal investigation X-039-7 is to examine the containment failure specimen SI-1. The resulted in the deaths of agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researcher's notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the of the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive. Cross-referencing the that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed. And two, an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. See interview number 65-F-124. Given the connection to the same AWE case, it's likely that Mrs. presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the Investigation is ongoing. Refer to file 6-23-0721 for full report. Okay, so I am pretty sure that that has to do with Alan's wife. Alice. It was Alice Wake! She was here. I know it. I can smell her. <laughs> I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. <laughs> You're in... Blessed organization. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Oh, guess we're going to the motel. Do we know each other? I feel this feels familiar. Is that Wake's door? To, 
I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. Open the door. Open the door, Jesse. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. It's Alan! It's Alan! <laughs> yes! Dude, this is very trippy. Doesn't look like it's fun in there. Oh god. It's his twin. Mr. Scratch? No. Mr. Scratch looks evil. He, he doesn't look Do evil. You? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. Oh! The diver! There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. Oh, he's, so he's not that, that, that nice? My, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. Auteur? We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. Wait. You need a drink. Wouldn't Tom be like an old man now? Cause that was like during the 70s and 80s, that was Dr. Darling. <laughs> that was his music video I just saw on the TV. Kippus. Kippus. Huh. But yeah, no, wouldn't Thomas Zane be like an old man at this point? <coughs> Unless he stayed young when he jumped into, into the darkness. Endless. But I don't think that's the darkness. case. Nothing holds still. Cause Alan looks older. We're very close now. You've been writing. Found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding. You found a way. No. I. I don't. Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I I've seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. He's talking about I'm Mr. Scratch. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. Eh? You met him? What the hell? <laughs> and no, yet he's no, done nothing. You misunderstand me. Okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Jesse? Anything you want to say? That was the Alan Wake, the famous writer. He disappeared years ago. It was all over the news back then. Yeah, well. And Thomas Zane was with him. Your favorite poet. The poet. No, wait. D -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Well, you said he was a poet at first. Okay. Is that a pencil? Or just a light? Okay, now I should be able to continue. Became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman. Went through another change. Is he talking about the hiss? As he cleared up all the, uh, all the mess that was just leaning against the door. Uh-oh. The door's, the door's broken. What the hell is that? Oh, is that little ball of psychic thingy-majiggy? Um, I have no idea which direction I'm gonna need to go, so... Oh. There we go. Made it. <laughs> be damp and abandoned. <laughs> Why did Wake want me to come here? Because we are meant to free him. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he wants to show us. That uh. doesn't look like a house shift. No, nope, there's definitely something different. 
Are we hallucinating? Jesse, did you take your pills today? <laughs> you know you start hallucinating when you don't take your pills. Shaded facet. The hell is that? Nope. What the hell? That shot him, right? Damn it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. are already in here right <laughs> they're everywhere everywhere I say foot gossip yeah not really a foot guy so I think we're gonna skip on that <laughs> I'm kidding I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with feet unless it does in which case Hartman rest Ooh. the hiss manifests in human host in numerous ways the most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The his agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. This his has display, displayed no aggressive behavior. The most notable disinfection from an unaffected humans is the fact that they only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the his corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attack, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file for full report. Okay, well, I mean, we kind of already knew that a little bit, <laughs> especially when I shot him the first time around. Uh, I'm, I kind of felt bad. I felt like I definitely killed him, and I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Fire break. This is the direction I'm going, right? Nope, this is the direction I came from. All right, so I'm going uh, this way. Service tunnel. Oh, you know, <laughs> of course I, I got to go through here. Is that the darkness? Yes. Darkness is blocking the door, so we need a flashlight. Have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Yes. <laughs> Light burns it away, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. That makes sense. What's in here? Um, it looks like a power room, but it got messed with because there's no power in there, so dead end. I, you know, I should probably bring this along with me. <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna need it. Oh, what in the world happened to you? Oh my god, it's like someone ate you. Or you just been dead for a while, you started decomposing. Either way, it looks like something ate his face. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem the most pleasant of ways to go. You ever been bitten in the face? Even, even, you know, I have. I mean, even, it was done by a baby. Oh, man. There goes my light. Great. But, yeah. Hartman? Okay, so... He's around. So, that's, that's great. <laughs> it said he turned into a monster, so... I don't know what he's gonna look like. I've actively avoided seeing anything that has to do with the DLC here, mainly because I want to experience this, like, you know, for the first time. Uh, of course, I want to, <laughs> I want to just be surprised and be excited for this because I love Alan Wake so much. Um, I know for a fact when it first came out, it wasn't that popular. Like, it had a hard time. Oh. The sound made darker, the darkness made light. Shh, Alan's a talking. The was stretched, like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Okay, well, obviously that sounds like we're gonna get attacked. And I need a power cell. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up these windows, because... Something tells me I'm gonna need to, as soon as I find the power cell, I'm gonna need to jump in here. Okay. I'm gonna stand in light. 
I hear, I hear the darkness slithering. Interrogation point. Reminder, drafting any public facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Word phrase to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud pride will be remembered. Words phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apology, sorry. Okay. Oh, Ati! I see he left us more work to do. Yes, Ati. Peter Parat. <laughs> yes, Lord RT. We will turn the light on and we will make sure them plats survive. Oh, I found the power cell at least. Oh, oops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Um. Okay, there we go. Got a power block. Alright, are the lights gonna come on? Okay, nope. Just these lights. Not the lights I was hoping to turn on, but hey, it's something. Eagle Limited Summary. Eh, it doesn't sound that interesting. The Shadow. Paranatural Entity A-010, aka The Shadow, is an aggressive consistent of three known types. Type A, localized manifestation of sentient, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, human bodies by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive but do seem to retrain of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects. Similar to type B except that inanimate objects are solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals. See AWE-35, which may imply a shared link to uh, intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive message. Uh, the investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to be prepared for the eventuality of a refer to file 6-34-1923 for full report. Okay, well at least they know about it, so they're definitely getting prepared. Our understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. Hartman, you is dick. Void. It very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and... Lane yes! Anderson brothers! I love those guys. ...with the dark. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness or did their work perhaps even create it. With me <clears throat> now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Okay, so that was recorded while he had a wake in his, uh, in his facility. 
It must have been soon after, uh, you know, the incident with, uh, uh what was that guy's name? The guy who said he, he, uh, kidnapped, uh, Alice. Oh, oh, okay, I forgot. I gotta get the power cell into this room. And there is light! And then... Oh, what the hell? Oh, there he is. I thought I saw the hits. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I had a cat block my view. <laughs> what in the world? Is that supposed to be happening? Okay, I know there's one more hit around here somewhere. Whew, okay. We good. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Trip wire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best, but mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted, <laughs> sometimes even the equipment is I don't know how, exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. There's something, I gotta get this, gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's the end of the recording there. That well, wasn't that informative, but at least it was entertaining. <laughs> I hear Otis music. Is he? Does that, does that mean he's around? Oops, not what I meant to do. More darkness. I feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. It's very really thick darkness too, I might add. Alright, let's go ahead and just leave. Uh oh. Is Shit. it Hartman? Now what? what is that? Is that? It's Hartman! What the hell? Elevator, time to go. Damn it, I can't do anything from here. Go, 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 go. Come on. Right? There we go. Hey, look, a lot more power cells. Alright, where did it go? One goes there. Okay, okay, where's. Is there another one somewhere? Shoot. Okay, where does it go? Where does it go? Okay, as long as the powers don't go out, I, I'm, I think I'll be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> okay. Was that it? Was it just those that I... <laughs> that's right. That's right. Burn, bitch. Burn! <laughs> yeah, Hartman, why don't you line up? Door appearance. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral shaped marking designation door. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details. 
and the former wife of Mr. Arthur Allen Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian, and contacted Agent Shaw and Dempsey in the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For a full transcript, refer to file. On 2017, the excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Conclusion Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE-35 as a paramount, she should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. Okay, okay. So is there another file or... Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. What? The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. <laughs> That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not... Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. <laughs> and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> Well, that was a short session, but the guy was like scared out of it, you know, shitless that he just went ahead and just told him whatever, I guess. Yeah, it sounds like he was being honest, in my opinion. Vending machine procedure. What? Vending machine? No, no, testing. Yeah, not gonna read that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a couple files here and there. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm gonna find me all the files. Ooh, arcade! Arcade machines? Shoo. 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 <laughs> well, I'm gonna play this real quickly. Crowd control. Shoo! Alrighty, well that was actually pretty entertaining. <laughs> so if I ever feel like just shooting up and not having to like uh, search areas for some, you know, for some little, little bit challenging. Hey, what are you doing? This will be it. Jesus, don't scare me like that, Winston. <laughs> if you're talking right now, I can't hear you. Oh it's God. A one -way system. Then why even Try ask? To find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let oh. me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Yeah. Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen. You need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? It was. It was a person. Hey, we that's what I just said. <laughs> he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? No. Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. Oh! <laughs> I don't have any of those, Winston. Oh, that's, uh, that's a reference okay. to Barry uh, when he wore Christmas sure lights around him. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Right. Maybe from where you're standing. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, uh... 
Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Oh, God, Langston, Ever since come on. I put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. Uh-huh. People just don't understand the altered items like is I it? do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. Why people are making <laughs> it so right. I mean, the teams in he doesn't seem to be em empathetic, though. Every day and not with us, at least. Weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darwin okay, so famous for being I did read there, that this is the part weird, where he just keeps charming. talking for like Altered 10 minutes straight. Really aren't that and someone did Once go out of the way to record the entire conversation. So if you guys want to listen to his entire 10 minute rant, by all means, go ahead and Google that. <laughs> I will not judge you because I'm going to be doing the same thing. Uh, but at the moment, we... I just can't be standing around talking, you know, listening in. Of course, he's not hes not going to know that we're gone. He's just going to keep talking and talking until he finally is done. Uh, <laughs> but my God, this man is so lonely. He needs some friends. And the two guards that he seems to be working with, they just seem so uh, robotic. Like, yeah, they're people, but the way they speak and you have to talk with them, it's like they're just babysitters. Like, he's the one being babysat. All right, well, let's see. We got to, we fought off heart, man. Why are we getting that achievement now? Well, shouldn't we've gotten that before? Okay. I know what this is. Okay, let's aim for the head. Alright, charge, charge. Why aren't you going in the second bar? Okay, well, at least I managed to damage one. Slippery little bastards. Oh, come on. Every time I'm, I got the gun ready, they just... Like, they automatically know it's ready. Okay. Well, that's in done and over with. Oh, come on. There's still more. Ugh. You guys are the worst. Did, did I win? Is it oh Whoa! <laughs> what the hell exploded? I didn't do that. That wasn't on me. Oh, damn it. Oh, man. Looks like I have to go around. I just can't go directly into it. Uh, of course. Of course, that's always the case. And I can't even seem to go through there either. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going down. Wait, what? Um, this looks like a good spot to get ambushed. Yeah, you know, I'm having a little deja vu. I feel like I've already done said that before. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> so that's why I couldn't break it. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> there we go. Now we can open the door. Of course there's enemies on this side as well. I just can't catch a break. Oh, finally. Such assholes around here. <laughs> Did the, does the bureau only hire assholes? Is that is that a requirement to be in the bureau? Because they pray, you know, they fight pretty unfairly. Which is why I don't regret ever breaking their windows. Just fuck them. What's this? What do we have? Come on. 
brain missing. What? To the good for nothings at the security check, I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're all really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular, regular people. Now I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me, but I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Third God Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I will be sending this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Then what's the point of complaining then? <laughs> Plus, with the funding that the Bureau has and the uh, supernatural abilities and tools they have laying around, I'm pretty sure they could find you quite easily too. Especially since they also have para-utilitarians. Okay, now where the hell do I need to go? It's really dark here. And something tells me I need to find this. This is what I need to find. Okay, does that mean I need to go down now? Um, shit. Okay, that was a little close. That was a close call. <laughs> I was not expecting to meet some spore man as soon as it got down here. Ah, oh, great. Power cell there, power cell for you. Any, any more? Yeah, it looks like there's Christ. two more. Did the Hartman thing do all this? Uh, yes, it would appear so. Oop. My bad. Didn't mean to rip you out. Oh, come on. Okay, so it looks like <laughs> I'm gonna need to switch back and forth. Okay, so this needs to go there. Thank you. And now this, I guess we're gonna need it in blue next. Just so I can get those two items. I'm not sure what it is, but I hope it's something good. There we go. Reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. That was it? Well, that was kind of boring. Huh. All right, looks like we're getting close. And of course there's gonna be enemies. Was that it? Was it just... Was that really it? Was that uh, just a little ambush like that? <laughs> oh, sometimes they're smart in numbers, but other times they're just kind of stupid, thinking that only three will do. Three kamikaze guys should do the trick. No problem, we don't need any more than that. <laughs> the fools. Don't they know who they're messing with? They're messing with Jesse Faden. Eagle Limited AWE. I'm pretty sure I saw a file on this Lots one. Of dark corners to hide in. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear him out. Wait. Oh, I see what's going on. I'm gonna have to keep pressing the button. Dealing with these guys. Well, so far so good, you know, it's not that bad. Oh shit, oh shit! Damn it, damn it! Oh god, that scared the crap out of me, come on. Damn it, so he is hiding in here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna die. Die, 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 die. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh god, that is such a close call. I wasn't expecting Hartman to actually show up. Oh, I see you. I see you, Hartman. You bastard, you dick. I know what you did to Alan, and we do not approve. 
We don't like you. You're we're all in agreement. You're a total douche. <laughs> okay. There. Is all the power lights on? Yes, burn, bitch, burn! <laughs> That's right, go back in your hidey hole. Wait. How the hell was he Where's able to? How was he able to move the foundation like that? He shouldn't be able to do that. Dead in its track. Find Hartman the From Morrow AWE area. Do I. Do I need to fight Harmon right now? Okay, I guess we're gonna fight Harmon. Why is our portrait here? Oh, not you. Shaded specimen captured. Uh, entity capture report. Shaded specimen A-010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman. An alert from the Washington Monitoring Station indicated mi minor activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual. Her definitions found in file 6-34-1923 and displayed violent behavior characteristics of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence, and with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitants were transported safely back to HQ, with the remains detained in the sector as part of the AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. Refer to file 5-11-0203 for full report. Okay, so obviously that has to do with Dr. Hartman. He must have put up a good fight. Motherfucker's pretty tall. <laughs> tall, dark, and not as handsome as one might think. Alright, if this is what I think it is, this is the uh, fight we're going to be having with Hartman. Okay, I need to stay in light as much as possible. What the hell did he just do? Need to get those lights on. Okay, I need to find a power cell. That is obviously what I need to do at the moment. Oh, eh, damn it! Don't be shooting with a nilly. Okay, so I need to... Oh, there, there. oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god, he scares the crap out of me. I don't like it. Come on, Hartman. Just move away. Go somewhere else. I wonder if this will help. I was kind of hoping that helped. Did that get him? No, of course not. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No, I'm in the lights! Bastard, go! Leave me alone! Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, great! Yeah, that's great. One, one more hit from him, and I'm doomed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start all over. Uh. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was a little too close for my liking. All right, that's two. Damn! I shouldn't have taken the power out of this one. Now my trip's gonna last longer. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't get that one in the corner until I've done this one. Oh, 
Okay, now what? Where do we go from here, Hartman? You know what? Should I just go ahead and take that one? Plug it back in. Ha 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 ha! Stupid laugh you have there, Hartman. All right. Last one. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it. Damn it. Whew. <laughs> okay. Where's the switch? Right here. Let there be light. You like that, Hartman? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, seriously? You just... Ugh. Great, that bastard ran away again. Uh, is there a way for me to teleport over there? Yeah, looks like there is. Okay, so I gotta go this way. <laughs> that damn Hartman. I'm gonna make sure I get his ass. He's not getting away from me. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting a hiss. <laughs> I'm loving this weapon. It is so cool. It does so much damage in such a short amount of time. I can shoot one, have it explode on my command whenever I want. I can shoot all three and then have it explode whenever the hell I want. Or until time runs out. One or the other. At least that's what I read from the description. Okay. I need some light here, folks. Damn it. Oh, come on. Okay, cabinets. Eh, I'll read that later. Doesn't seem to be too important. If it has nothing to do with Alan Wake in any shape or form, I am not reading it. At least, not while I'm playing this. While I'm trying to get through. I'll read it once I've defeated Hartman and, you know, done whatever it else it's required of me to do in this DLC. Alright. I thought it was a. <laughs> I thought it was an item I was going to pick up, but nope, it was just a battery. I mean, I need it too, obviously, but it's not what I wanted. At least not yet. Okay, now how the hell do I get down? It's not... Oh. I gotta press the big red button. Of course, the big red button must be pressed. And... Oh, oh. Okay. Thought it was going to hurt me. I'm going to need a flashlight for that. Give me one sec. Damn it. Oh man, it broke. Ah, okay. Maybe there's another flashlight laying around here somewhere. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, okay. So, okay, let me go ahead and reattach it here, and I, I have to move it in front of it. Okay. <laughs> this is simple enough. Okay, looks like maybe that might be it. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, there we go. Oh, I should probably grab this. Of course. Escape the darkened corridor. What am I escaping from? Is Hartman down here? Uh, I think so. I think I just saw him. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing I got the gun. 
Ah, damn it. Ati, looks like there's a. Oh! Ah! 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 Ati! Ati! The lights! The lights! They need to be fixed. Ati! You know, he's powerful enough to take on the, uh, the darkness by himself. <laughs> I hear your laugh. Your stupid, stupid laugh. Will this do? Can we turn on all the lights? Ooh, that's bright. Ah, that can actually kind of hurt my eyes a little bit. Did he go further in? Oh my god, seriously? Hartman, you bastard. Why you keep running away, you damn coward? Ah! Uh, when I get my hands on that wrinkly old man, <laughs> I'ma wring his neck. It, it sounds bad out of context, I know. <laughs> but pro I promise, I promise, if you haven't played Animal Wake, I promise you would want to do the same, okay? We're all in the same boat. We all want the same thing. To wring his neck. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand, Jelly, where are you from? Jumbo Brain, up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arrange you. <laughs> Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. What? Did, Andy Mitchell? Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. What? Spider time? <laughs> Who the hell are they talking to? Who the hell are they investigating? Why do they talk like that? That's kind of weird. And that block. That door is blocked. I'm not sure where it leads to. Probably nowhere since it shows nothing on the map. Damn. I need a power cell. But uh, where do I get one? Oh, wait a minute. I see it. Wait. I thought that was- oh. Oh, it opens the door. So I can get a flashlight! Well, not the bright light I was thinking of, but hey, it does the trick. So, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> It's Trench! Damn, he's... Why is he still there? We're the director now. Why is his picture still there? Okay. I'm just going to freestyle him. Oh, I see him. <clears throat> My mother always said... Never talk to strangers. Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the, his yep. corruption. Always. Lake did call him the third thing. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. Langston, what the fuck are we listening to? Strange like the noises you hear at night. Are you trying to be a poet or something? There is no light. And you cannot fight. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you. And continues to quack, 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 quack. Okay, what the hell did I just listen to? Langston, just keep to your day job, okay? You know, <laughs> you're not gonna be the next Slim Shady, okay? I pro <laughs> just, just don't bother. A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. 
Yeah. You know. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> there must be a photocopier around here. Shaded Hartman. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A-010, aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by, or produces, a of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics prove ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have been have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains, to some degree. For research purpose, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Refer to file 5 22 101944 report. Well, that's because Harmon is a special kind of, you know, being. I mean, if he kept the, some of his intelligence still retained, but it kind of has no control over his own body, this then. This is the director. I need backup at my location. Alright, where's my guy coming from? Are in for it now. Oh, you're already in there. <laughs> All right, my man. You and me. Night Spring screenplay, page three. Oh, I think I missed page two because I only have page one. At least to my knowledge. I might have, you know, accidentally picked up the other one. Oh, gotta switch guns. Okay, we are ready to go. Damn, I missed. Well, I didn't miss, really. It's more like I just hit the wrong target. Haha, uh -huh. I'm in your blind spot. Wait, can I shoot him from down here? No, the answer's no. Wait a minute, can I do this? Nope, that doesn't work either. But that does. <laughs> I shot to the back of the head, it definitely does wonders. Okay, I know exactly what to do here now. There we go. <laughs> Double tap. Okay. Hey, man. You did a great job. Oh, you are low on life. Okay, you know what? I can take it from here. You can go home. I don't... I don't want to cause you any more trouble, man. You did not make... Ah, oh. oh, he's gonna die. Just one more hit, and he's gonna die. Especially if we have to go up against Harmon next. Wait, is that gonna loop? It kind of doesn't. Kind of doesn't. Okay, looks like he actually left. Alrighty, uh, we finally got you, Harmon. There's nowhere else to run. <laughs> Raw Morrow, I know you mean. Oh shit. Damn, I need light, I need light. There. Whew. From Morrow's summary. Huh, what's this about? A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Morrow Highlands of the Moon. The event responds. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. a White House senior official and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the ent entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. called to clarify the matter. Though tensions remain high, bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Yeah, that probably would help him in the future. Alright, enough of that. We gotta... 
We got a monster to deal with. All right. Here we go. Come on, Jesse, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Oh, damn it. Okay. Either I go back over there. Okay, I see where I need to put the power cell. It's like way over there. Damn it. Is it heading back towards the middle? That's not what I wanted. Oh. Okay, well, that, uh, it's something, I guess. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I moved the block over here, so. That's a plus. Okay, uh, damn it. It's gonna go back over there. Ah. Okay. This is not a fun puzzle. I. That's it, that's it, that's it. Whew! <laughs> A little close for comfort there, but we did it! Okay, let's see what's in here. Another file. Of course, there's more files. Supplement. Okay, I'm not gonna read that either. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to remove it from here. There we go. And now we gotta move up. Up, up, and away! Into the control room. Ooh. Now do we just turn on all the lights? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> There's nowhere to run, hard man. Oh, you seriously? There's actually. Someone for him to run? What the hell? One last place for him to hide. Oh, come on. I thought this was it. I thought this was going to be our final fighting ground. Gerbil took the top head. What? Okay. This is it. This is <laughs> for the second or third time. Oh, this should be it. This should this should be our final battle with Hartman. Where are you, Hartman? Director, ma'am, great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security <laughs> door into the Bright Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You okay. Know, back when it was all practical effects. Uh-huh. Nasty. Real Did you say something? Nasty. Remember, I can't hear you. <laughs> Never mind. Just go after Hartman. Ah, oh, so disgusting. Okay. For a moment, I thought he was going to go on another, like, ten minute long spiel. Rewritten. The darkness wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart. And rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Okay, Alan. Hey. I forgot that Alan was actually still part of all this. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of wondering if he's writing this as we're going or if he's already written this. Stuck. And we're just kind of picking up on Let's the echoes. Right, do I need to shine the- oh yeah, here it is. Oh, 
out them. Okay, well that was easier to swim around. <laughs> okay, now we can continue going down. But hopefully without any more interruptions from the darkness. Ooh. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Arman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer. Well, we did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing hmm. notes, as they said. I would Thank never you, work the heck with him. That's all we need to hear. Remy, Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this? <laughs> Are they arresting him? Connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my Well connected, we then. That means shit compared to them. ...property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Nope. Sounds like you broke the law even without even realizing it. Oh, we gotta go to the motel again? Alright, let's do this. I've forgotten again. Hey, it's Wake again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Hey, where's Zane? Did he leave him there? Alan? I've got to get out of here. Dive deep. Oh. That did not look pleasant. <laughs> You know, after like 10 years of spending time in the darkness. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Right? <laughs> I think he's been spending a little too much time alone. Um, the guy's gonna need some psych psychiatric help after all of this, that's for sure. Oh, great. Now the darkness seems to have invaded the motel. That's wonderful, wonderful news to hear. I thought this place was pretty safe, honestly. But again, the foundation is pretty safe it's, itself. And yet it's still getting invaded by the hiss. And the darkness will, the darkness be everywhere, so. <laughs> Nowhere is safe. Not unless you follow the sun all going around the earth. There we go. Thank you, Federal Bu Bureau of Control. <laughs> All right, now I should. Is there something else there? Is that the key? We got the key. Going in bad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. 
for the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Okay, see, this is the, the thing I was talking about earlier when, uh, that basically Wake was the one that started all of this. The hiss, Jesse coming here. He basically just kind of pushed things to lead to certain directions. In this case, Jesse's gonna be his hero. Bright Falls AWE. Another replica. Like the one they made for ordinary. Yeah, looks like it. I wonder what happened here. I don't know, but I do know this. I need some I need help. Ranger sent to this location, stat. We're in this together. Network disconnected. Yeah, can you go ahead and turn on the lights while I deal with Hartman? Alice Wake interview. Ooh, I gotta read this. After reaching out to the bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on 2017. See file for the full transcript. The interview conducted by Agent Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake has had recurrent nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment address. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the... Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L-501-4 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Oh, so they've been, they're going to go ahead and spy on her. <laughs> um, is that legal? I mean, even if they're the Federal, Federal Bureau themselves? These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hart. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize it. Oh, is this after he got arrested? <laughs> the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. So I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. <sighs> Alan is right. Dr. Hartman really loves listen to his own damn voice It's just a threshold. Oh god, this guy has a big ass ego. Oh Jesus Christ, man. Your ego's a lot worse than the artist that you work with. <laughs> or should I say, kidnapped. But such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It's time for a breakthrough. Until I return. God, this guy thinks of himself as a damn martyr. No wonder he's a monster now. That's probably after he jumped into the lake. <laughs> well, you got what you deserve. And now I gotta figure out how the hell... Okay, I see it right now, actually. 
Oop. Ah, bollocks, that's a little far. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? I'm the one that should be laughing. I'm the one that's winning. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Um, now what do I do? Hey, you okay, Hardman? It looks like you're uh, feeling a little down. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry, baby. We'll fix you right up. Right? <laughs> you're in our world now, Hartman. You are pretty rough on the eyes. <laughs> Jesse's got jokes. Oh, damn it. Where are you, Hartman? Oh, well, that's pretty. That's actually a pretty neat trick you got there. You know, I'm, I'm really glad I have my assistant here to help me out because uh, <laughs> I think this would have been very difficult to. Oh, damn it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, where the hell... That one. Okay, where does the power core go? Okay, I think this is the closest I've ever gotten it, because he hasn't done this before. At least, to my knowledge. Damn it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, where's the other one? There it is. All right, Hartman. Oh man, that he has he's got a shield up. Oh, damn it. Come on, heal, 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 heal. Oh, not again, not again. What a dick! I gotta, I gotta destroy him quick. Ah! Damn it! I gotta deal with these guys too. Damn! Ah! <laughs> okay, this guy's really, really trying my patience here. Okay, so it looks like the best tactic I could do at this very moment is to just keep bombarding him. <laughs> so, what I kept making my mistakes is that I, if he stands up, he starts slamming the ground and all the, and the power cells are like falling off. Um, so I gotta avoid that. I gotta keep hitting him over and over <laughs> just, to, just so he doesn't slam the ground. Just to like distract him long enough. So I gotta go between using my gun and using my psychic abilities to, you know, to put him in his place. Bring him down. Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh my god, Hartman I did it! <laughs> won't be a problem anymore, Langston. Oh, yeah, about that but time, too. Need some more oh. on it. Interesting. Are you gonna give I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> Good choice, Langston. Good choice. I'm getting something on my terminal here. An AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. 
But it might be a it's glitch. It's Alan. The date's all wrong. A couple of years in the future. Wait, and what? We're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. From the Maybe future. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown. Are there agents May on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Yeah, but if there's no contact at the outside, how is she gonna, you know, send us the information? Return of Alan Wake. You have been warned. And I am ready. <laughs> what? Did he come back? No, that's not hard, man. What the hell? <laughs> Seriously, as soon as we're done with the boss fight, we get ambushed? <sighs> oh, hey, man. He's still alive, I see. Very nice. <laughs> I thought he would have gone away after we defeated the boss fight, but I'm glad he stuck around. Tell me with his ambush. Bitch left! One more! Come on! <laughs> Darn. Ah! Still close to getting. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> we good. We Gucci. Damn snipers. And. No slap! Oh shit. They're both up here now. Damn it. Where'd he come from? <laughs> His body just went wee. Okay. Uh, the music's still long going, so. Oh, there you are. Okay. It looks like we're done. Oh, we get some files over here. Wake evidence. Description. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wakes during an event in her home. Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, CAWE-35 for details, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband or entity resembling him. See file for more. Being a professional photographer, Mrs. Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in and managed to capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. Additional information. During an interview with Mrs. Wake, she mentioned that her favorite camera, a model, was lost in 2010 during AWE-35. No much has been found among the confiscated evidence from AWE-35. It has been filed as a potential altered item, and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item. All right. Oh, here's another file. Wake photograph. Oh! You know, I've seen this photo uh, around the internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I noticed it was supposed to be Alan, and I just didn't realize that this is... It came from this DLC. I'm like, wait, I don't remember seeing this photo in Alan Wake, you know, the game. Um, so that, that explains that. So that's the photo she captured of him in the middle of the night. Huh. That kind of looks like he's in agony. <laughs> like, maybe he's possessed. Wait, are we sure that's Alan? Or... No, wait, Al Alan? It should, it's not Alan. It should be uh, Mr. Scratch. And he definitely does not like the Flash, so... <laughs> <laughs> this must be where they studied Hartman. Kind of looks like Dylan's cell. I wonder if they treated yeah. him as badly. Yeah, probably. But you know, I think this is supposed to be his like facility, like the outside of his facility, just just the building. <laughs> Obviously, it's it, there's no trees around. So, what did they think that they just you know 
play with a shape. That's it. They don't need to do more than that. Ooh, items. But all right, that's what that's gonna do it for this DLC. We finally beat Harmon. We defeated the ambush that Hartman had for us at the very end. I'm not sure if he coordinated that or that was just a hiss, you know, doing its own little thing. Um, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. And if you really enjoy it, by all means, hit the subscribe button because soon. I'm going to be uploading Alan Wake 2. Unfortunately, I won't be able to upload anything day of because I do have to work during that weekend. But you bet your ass I'm definitely going to be recording and uploading all those videos of Alan Wake 2. And I'm really, really, really excited for it. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys next time and take care, alright? Bye.